A chapter of GMA, as you know, is ending this week with both Chris and Diane moving on to new adventures here at ABC. So we thought we'd look back at our adventures here at Good Morning America, following the long tradition of this program to get out and to meet you. And we were all, you know, looking back and we said, boy, the train trip. How much mm. we enjoyed meeting all of you in the train trip. And we were in Pittsburgh, and yes. the, it, was, it was the Zany Umbrella Circus. <laughs> and so we, can, you, can we show a little bit of this? We all, it was the human chair. And remember, we were like, this is not going to work. <laughs> and they kind of work with us. And at one point, they take out the chairs and everything. There they are. And I love the mustaches were a nice, a nice little touch. I thought right. that was a real bonding experience yeah, right. with us. Seriously. It was, and I love particularly that Chris Cuomo had to depend on my ab muscles yeah. <laughs> to survive, yeah. which is a funny idea. Oh, oh, look at this! It's impossible that it really worked. A human chair. We were like, no, it's never going to work. We're never, never hold. I like that my girl Robbie Robbins. She's bracing herself with the leg just in case. She's got the right leg back just in case. Uh, but that was. A a lot of fun. That was good. And of course it was fun and we were meeting you out and there was a lot of great experiences we had. One of them that was pretty cool is that we uh, did this grape stomping thing at, at the Welch's. The contest. Yeah, it was at the Welch's Grape Vineyard. And I'll tell you more about it, but watch it so you remember. Hang out for the knee knocking, toes squishing, history making competition. <laughs> the boys go first. It's kind of like dancing in a barrel. Just call me Apple. You are Diane, right? <laughs> Up next, fast-footed Robin and her less fast-footed sidekick. Be the great! Be the great! <laughs> At the end of the day, guess who won? Surprise, surprise. Chris Cuomo, the Italian, did his people proud. Seven generations of Italian heritage. It was an ethnic slight, but I rolled with it. Uh, you know, it was interesting now. It was the Ark Family Winery. And, you know, it was, it was a good joke about Ethel because Lucille Ball actually grew up down the street from, right. the, from the winery. It was really great. 30 miles from Silver Creek, New York, mm -hmm. were his health. And then That's they did times. their grapes go to Welch's Grape Juice. Right. Good and remember when um, we got to go up in the zero-gravity plane, the one that lets oh. you feel like you have no gravity by the doing vomit, all the parabolas. Vomit. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. It. Wait a minute. Wait till, wait till you see. This is the future. Literally, this century... I didn't go up as high because I'm too heavy. I hated that. Some angles more flattering than others. Yes, we tossed you like a ball. Point. Yeah, that was good. It really hurt later, didn't it? Oh, and we talked about the train trip. You know, the best thing really was to see all of your faces out there waving. I was getting a chance to stop. Embrace all of you along the way, the signs that you created for us. Uh, and by the way, we didn't sleep for four nights mm -hmm. running, mm -hmm. and neither did the team of people. The fabulous sound, electronic, the stage crew, everybody out there, and our much younger team who helps us get on the air every morning, who would finish the night like this. Here they are. Yes. This Lana, is who brings you Allison, the news every day. Kiana, Mark, exactly, Cleo. <laughs> Tracy's in there too. They still had the energy to do karaoke and keep dancing on into the morning. Quite a different disposition than they have in the mornings here in the control room. <laughs> yeah, it's right true. Now. But what it took, what it took yes, to get yes. on the air from that train ride. And Fly from a we, moving train. We thank all of you for those moments. It took so. a year to plan. And in, mm -hmm. we saw earlier in the piece that you had to sleep in a compartment. Yeah, it was too small. Where you, yes, your head was yeah. sort of out the door as your feet are stretching toward the window. Yes, it was no good. So no, and every it, night he would bang on the wall and yeah. next to yeah. me. Sam so. was in the, the other bunk. He didn't like that either. That was one of my favorite And I parts. walked into what I thought was my closet, and it was the shower. And yes. I, pulled the <laughs> I got soaking wet. Got myself completely drenched for night out. Oh, well. Poor we had a great boy. time. We did. We certainly did. And that was the best part, meeting everyone. Sure was. That was the great when the train was pull into a station and we'd get out and mm. just meet folks. Thank you for being mm -hmm. in our lives.